On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you three of the strongest and uniquely designed drywall anchors that you might find very helpful around your home. So make sure you stay tuned. Hey there friends, welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. So in this episode, I'm gonna be showing you three different types of these uniquely designed drywall anchors by three different companies that they claim that these are the strongest that you could ever put on your drywall. I'm gonna be conducting tests on each one of these. We're gonna do a strength test. So I also have a lot of these drywall anchor videos, so make sure you watch them after you watch this video. I'll leave the links up here and check them out at the description. Let's start off with this drywall anchor right here. It's called Grip It. They're called Grip It's the versatile drywall anchor, and it's rated up to 145 pounds according to this company. And again, if you're interested on any of the products and all the anchors that I use in this video, I'll leave all the tools and stuff that I use on the description down below. Check out those links if you're interested. Also, this comes with the number 18 spade bit. So it comes in a pack of six. What's cool about this, and I've never seen this before, if you look closely on how this operates, Notice how it has two wings at the back and it rotates just like that. Your screwdriver right through there where you can put a flat head or a Phillips head and you turn it and the wings open up like that. Cap right here going up and down. Just to let you know, I am not sponsored by any of these drywall anchor companies. I bought these with my own money so that we can test it out and I want to show you which one works and which one is right for you. So here's a test mock-up that I made. This is a five feet by 10 inches wide. As you can see, that's where we're gonna be hanging these drywall anchors. We'll drill the hole. We're gonna take the Grip It drywall anchor, place it inside the hole, and just tap it in. It will adjust to the thickness of your drywall anchor. So if this is a half inch drywall anchor, it can adjust up to 5 8 inch drywall. Okay, so you can push it in for further. So let's look at the back and see what it's doing. This right here is on the start position. Notice how it's just flush with the drywall. But if you push it in and twist, that's pretty cool. You're gonna tighten it till it's nice and tight. I'm gonna see if, I'm, if it will withstand 175 pounds of my weight. Okay, again, do not try this at home. And look at that. So there you have it friends, Snap It's. It's rated for 145, but we went to 175. I don't suggest you going above what is rated by the manufacturer. Again, this is just for tests and entertainment purposes only. If you wanna go a little bit stronger, you can add additional anchors as well, so you can double the amount. And again, that's for you to decide. And if you're interested on this one, I'll leave the link on the description down below. Let's get to anchor number two. This next strong claiming drywall anchor is called Bull Fix. This is not from the US, this is from the UK. It is rated up to 116 kgs. That's about what, 255 pounds in US units. Okay friends, let me show you how this one works. Hold strong plasterboard drywall fixing for all types of plasterboards. 116 kilograms. Okay, let's open it up. It comes with a drill bit. It is a two piece. This goes in first, and this one will go in second. Looks like a fish. Drill out our hole first with the included spade bit. We're gonna take the first piece, tap it in. Take our little fishy. I'm gonna call this fish because it'll turn into a fish. Notice how there's an opening on each end. We're gonna align it so that that will go flat like so just like that. And you can kind of see where it fits. It fits like a puzzle. You won't be able to make a mistake on inserting it. Now from that on, you're gonna go and tap this right in with a hammer again. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That's actually pretty smart. See how it just aligns like that? So compared to the Grip It hardware that we first started, look how skinny that is and look how thick this is. So for the thickness for the drywall, it's saying here that it's to be used with plasterboard um, of standard thickness of 12.5. So that's about 
inches to 16, so that's 0.6 inches. Let's see if it can withhold my weight. Again, do not try this at home. This is for test purposes only. And yes, it is withholding my weight. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another 52 pounds, so that makes it about 227 pounds total. And that's it, I'm not gonna go over that. I know it's rated up to 255, I believe, or 116 kgs, but other than that, I'm not gonna go over it. We're just gonna test it out if it's gonna hold. Okay, friends, again, do not try this at home. This is for entertainment purposes only. There you go. There you have it, friends. That's over 220 pounds of weight on this bull fix. In my honest opinion, I kind of like how this is more structured and more stable than the grippets. That's just my honest opinion. But so far, this is probably one of the better ones that I would choose because it's just so simple. I know it's a two piece, but at the same time, construction wise, it looks a lot more stable. Again, for a two piece, that's a very stable construction and great design. Again, if you're interested on this one, I'll leave the link on the description down below. Let me know in the comment section down below if you ever tried these bull fix drywall anchors and I wanna know what your results and what you think of this one. Okay, friends, so with that being said, let's get to the final drywall anchor that we're gonna test out today. And this one is called, you probably heard of this one, it's called Wing It. It'll be designed for a hollow wall construction up to one point two inches thick wow that's thick it comes with these really really long screws from what i'm assuming it looks like we're gonna pop it in like that I have to use a spade bit right here so luckily bull fix had one provided for us so we're just gonna use that it's you needed you need a three quarter inch drill bit from what's saying from the instructions yes this is a this is good for bath par partitions changing tables, low profile, tilting mount, flat screen TV. So not full motion mounts. It doesn't say what weight because it says strength is in the shear. So again, it says strength and stability are greatly affected by projection and length of the interaction with the wall surface. So for guidance, I guess you have to call them up. But again, it doesn't specify how much weight, but we're just going to go with our regular weight test with my weight with 52 pounds of dumbbell. Put this in here. Put it on a flat surface and then pop it in like so. So you now you can extend in and out the wing it. So we're gonna compress it in like so. And we're gonna insert it through the hole like that. Kind of like one of those movies where they have those grapple hooks where they go hook on top of the buildings. Take our, this long screw that they provide grabs onto the wall. We're assuming that this will definitely hold my weight given that the fact that this is claimed to be one of the strongest out there. So again, 175 pounds, easy. Over 220 pounds. There you go. Rather depend on using the studs rather than relying on the drywall for hanging something that heavy. Just That's just my opinion. It's a lot safer than using something like that. But again, here are your options. So there you have it, friends. Here are some of the three strongest drywall anchors out there in the market. You have the grip bits, you have the bull fix, and you have the wing it. Let me know in the comment section down below which of these three is your favorite, which one you're willing to try, and which one you think is the best out of the three. For me, my honest opinion, I think that these bull fixes are the way to go. They're small, they're not meant for really heavy stuff because in my, in, in my case, I don't hang that much stuff and I don't depend hanging anything super heavy, especially on drywall. If I was gonna go hang something that's super heavy, I'm gonna go rely on screwing it to the studs. So, but again, Another option is these wingets. These are super strong. Again, um, again, it's just by your personal taste or your personal preference on which one is more suitable for what you're trying to apply at your home. But again, for me, it'll be the bull fix. If you're interested on any of these three that I tested on today's videos, I'll leave all the links of these products and all the tools on the description down below. Check those out. Let me know in the comment section down below and share with the community if you have any other 
strong drywall anchors out there that you use leave it in the comment section on the video and share with the community again friends if you found this video super helpful please hit that big thumbs up press the subscribe and notification bell and i'll see you friends on the next video happy new year